Okay, let's go over creating campaigns and loading leads. First thing we're going to do is log in to our dialer as I've done here. And on the left, we're going to click campaigns. Free voice does the handy work of creating a working campaign for you. So what we're going to do to save time and effort, we're going to click copy campaign here at the top. Next, we're going to make sure our source campaign is referencing a working campaign, as I've done here. And we're going to give our campaign an ID. And a name. And then we're going to hit submit. And that is how I recommend creating a campaign within your free voice dialer. Next thing, we're going to set it to active. If it's not done already, if we are integrating with the CRM, we put the URL here. And if we, since we've made some changes, we're going to go down to the bottom and hit submit. And that is a simple process of creating a campaign. Next, let's go ahead and load some leads so we can start dialing. Next, we're going to go to lists. And then we are going to add a new list. Once again, set it to active first. Give it an ID. And a name. Description is optional, but it might help with documentation. And we're going to assign it to our newly made campaign. Then we hit submit. And that's how you create a list within your free voice dialer. Now let's load some leads into this list. On the left, we're going to click load new leads. And then we're going to choose a CSV file from which to harvest our leads. And once we find our CSV file, we're going to, in the drop down, select our newly made list. That is what is referred to as the list ID override. And here we are. Uh, phone code override can be left alone. File layout to use, we're going to select custom layout. And I like to take the extra step of using the duplicate check to check for duplicates uh, to uh, protect from the, to prevent the eventuality of having a duplicate lead loaded to a, a campaign. Anyway, hit submit. And the next step is to go ahead and line up the data based on the headers in your CSV file. So first name, you can have uh, the three uh, columns. I in my list have uh, just the one. Uh, we go ahead and just line it up based on the headers in the CSV file there. And basically what you, the only thing you need is the phone number and the full name. The rest is done for documentation purposes. Address, city, state, zip. Let's see, date of birth. Free state zip. And uh, with that, once we've once we've lined it up to our liking, we're going to hit OK to process here. And we've successfully loaded a thousand leads. And you might get a bad lead in the form of your header. So the first first name, last name up at the top, the dialer can't do anything with that. So it constitutes a bad lead as far as the dialer is concerned. Sometimes you might get bad leads based on you know, a malformed number or the number might not be there, depending on where you're getting your leads from. Anyway, that is how you load leads and create campaigns on your free voice dialer.